Hey guys, welcome back to Sapper Steel Forge. Uh, we're definitely doing something very, very different today. We're inside in my office. And in case you're wondering, that is a gym. Yes, my kids named the orange one Jim Jim. And he somehow lives up to the name. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, geez. Um... So, I, I thought, uh, it's been kind of a, a day at work, it's, and, uh, yeah, I, I was at the computer shop today, and I thought, you know what we could really use is, uh, something really nice. So, I, I've been flipping through YouTube, and I've seen all these reaction channels, but so many of them are so negative. It's all about finding the, the fails, and the, the Karens, and there's plenty of that. They're, they're, we don't need another one of them. So I thought what I would do is just take this evening and, and make a video. And we're going to do a reaction. But what I've done is hunted up on YouTube some other blacksmiths. People who are starting out. People whose channels, you know, we got a couple of subscribers. And we're just going to, you know, watch one of their videos. Hit them with a like. Send them a nice comment, you know, a little, a little bit of uh, encouragement. Hey, guys, I've been there, you know, whether it's as the YouTuber, which, you know, if they got three subscribers. Hey, I had three subscribers at one point. I'm up to 109. That's crazy to me. So lots of these people got way more than me, but that's okay. Because, you know, it, it's all a journey, not just the YouTube, but the blacksmithing in life, really. So... I just thought we, we could do with some bit, a bit of encouragement. All right, our first video today comes from uh, 18T Blacksmithing, start to finish. Uh, his uh, channel says he's a small black yard. Ew. I can't talk, but y'all already know that. A small backyard smith. Boy, I can feel that. Uh, ju just getting a look at this video already, I'm seeing, you know, some coals in a uh, charcoal, you know, or some charcoals in a, uh, barbecue. Good Lord, I can't talk. Uh, so, so he has eight subscribers, and there's been zero likes. Dude, this thing's only had eight views in five years. So let's give this guy some love, shall we? and everything of this piece of metal I got in here. But, big part of my day today is this beauty. So, here we go. Okay. Um, you know, it's kind of working. Uh, he's obviously got a good bit to learn, but Hey, didn't we all at one point? I've definitely done worse than this. Man, look at that. Look at that brightness. That is definitely functioning. All right. Don't know why it's trying to play that for me. But anyways, so what we're going to do now is we'll just uh, we'll hit it with a like. And like I said, this thing was from five years ago, so we'll just uh, doing well and still in, yeah, I can't type either. There we go. Hope you're doing well and still enjoying blacksmithing. You know, just, just something quick and nice, just for the heck of it. Alright guys, so uh, our next video comes from Blacksmithing Adventures. It's another really small channel. Um, the whole channel's had four views, they've got two videos, and this video has had one view in three months. So let's just check it out. That is... Oh, 
Okay. Oh, there we go. So we were looking at like some industrial blacksmithing. Not sure what I was seeing to begin with, I'll be honest. Iron. I tell you what, I'd give you about anything to have a power hammer that size. I don't know what I'd do with it, but, uh, you know, I'd like it anyways. I don't know what I'd do with a million bucks, but I'd darn sure like it anyways. Oh, look how my, that makes that look so easy. Well, we got a plasma cutter? I think that's what that is. I'm not real hip on a lot of equipment, so I think that's a plasma cutter. Aren't you supposed to be wearing like some dark glasses with that thing? Well, you know, be safe now. Alright, well, I'm not going to lie, that's very much an abstract video, but I'm not one to uh, knock anybody's art, so we'll hit him with a like, and we'll say, would love to have that power hammer. Awesome video. All right, our next channel is a young man who seems very ambitious. He doesn't have a lot of uh, likes, followers, all that. But uh, this is part two of Forging a Katana. I, I just picked at random here. Uh, obviously, he has more videos. But, uh, yeah, let's just check this out. Uh, first things first, man, I'd love to have that anvil. Well, this is part two of forging a katana. Ooh, coal fire, he's got a good anvil. That is a nice stand, too. Um, so I'm going to go weld this up and fix it, because I've mounted it in half. Oh, poor guy, man, we have all done that one. Fixed it. That is some good forge welding. It's the right length now. That is some outstanding forge welding. And, and yeah, he just went in right and just, just tackled it. Part one, it's on my channel, so please go check it out. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Part three will be coming soon. All right, hey, that kid did amazing. So we'll drop him a like and uh, figure out how to I've got a ring light in my way, can't see. There we go, that was some awesome forge welding, great work. By the way, that was from Blacksmithing Hot Steel 6871. He's got 51 subscribers and 37 videos. So this kid's been, been hopping. Uh, he's got some making a hook. Um, oh, he's got himself a new setup, forging a katana. And uh, yeah, so it looks like he's really got it going on man y'all check him out all right our next video is a from pete fire artist and blacksmith uh i think he does more like artistic sculptures it is what i i was gathering from his videos or you know the uh cover photos and this is the red kite kinetic sculpture and it's in saint albans hertz 
England, and given that it's England, I'm probably pronouncing that all wrong, but that's life for you. Let's check this thing out. Oh, that is really crazy cool, but, okay, so the bird and the, uh, the spiral thing balance each other, and it spins. And given that it's outside, I'm wondering if the wind is, doesn't make it spin, or if they had right, to spin so it. That was really, really cool. That, the, the fact that someone can be artistic enough to dream up that sort of thing and then get in there and just hammer it out, that, that's really awesome. So we're going to toss him a like and say... That was amazing. Okay, our next video is from the Gordon William Zion Blacksmith School. So, I'm, uh, I believe this is about teaching people blacksmithing. But anyhow, uh, the video says melting a marble in the forge. And while they had plenty of other really good looking teaching videos, um, it's melting things in the forge. And uh, like most blacksmiths and former engineers, I like things melting and blowing up. So let's watch this stuff. Glass in there and I've held it out about two minutes. I'm going to go under the flame. You'll know if you didn't wait long enough, it'll break. I'm going to go right under the flame. And I'm going to watch the bottom underneath pretty soon to see if it slumps through and I'm going to quit. So if it didn't break now, it won't break. About two inches under the flame. Ooh, Lord, look at that thing go. It'll turn orange. The color will go out of it, but it'll come back in when it cools. So take your time annealing it before you go in the fire. So it's coming through now. It's melted. There we go. <laughs> oh, that is cool. Oh, whoops. We're going to stop that one. Uh... Let me run back here. All right, okay, so we can't leave him a comment because that one was for the kids. But we will it will drop him a like and say that was awesome. I've never seen a marble melt before, so I'm a fan. All right, and our final video comes from Kintsugi. Blacksmithing Kintsugi. I'm probably not pronouncing that right again. Um, I, I was just flipping through some of his, and some of his videos look really good as it is, but then I saw Epic Fail creating a knife, and, oh, uh, man, if anybody's had some failures creating a knife, right, right here, so I thought we'd all watch that together. Back to my workshop. Oops. Today, Let me... we're going to be doing a bit of... Sorry? Hello, and welcome back to my workshop. Today, we're going to be doing a bit of knife making. I have some 52-100 steel that I'm going to grind into a knife. And then I have some wenge that I'm going to use for the handle. So with that, let's get to work. Okay. Um, yeah, digging the music choice. Uh, Stock removal's not my choice of things, but I don't knock it because, you know, it. you end up with such a nice looking knife. I, I've seen some of these uh, guys at the craft fair, these, these real experts at stock removal stuff, and I'm sure there are like, you know, like blacksmiths like myself out there who could, well, way better than myself, who can get those kind of clean lines even after they forge them. It, it ain't me. Uh, my stuff looks rough and rustic, and that's just kind of who I am. But that's kind of cool. That's a nice shape. Yeah, that should. It's a, it's a nice shape for a knife. Should be comfortable. I 
Oh, no, see, that is a really nice jig. Uh, I bought a, a small jig that would fit my uh, 1x30 sander, and I lost it before I ever got it out of the box, so... Should probably get another one one of these days, huh? Ooh, look at the size of that forge. Man, that thing has got some serious room. Well, oh, oh, God, that's awful. That was my fault. To quench it and I hardened it and the blade kind of took a bit of a warp to it so I went to go straighten it and it kind of just snapped oh brother I feel that one uh, if you look over here in the, the corner though it looks like he managed to make it up and, and, and created another one that looks amazing see the green in there not really but yeah so this turned out to be a failure i guess I we'll have to try again some other time thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and all right so <laughs> poor guy man we we'll hit it with a like and a nice comment All right. There we go. All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. I've got a gray kitty bumping into my leg to remind me it is treat time. Y'all haven't met Gracie yet. She's very shy. She is incredibly sweet. But, uh, yeah, she, she doesn't really care to be picked up. So I just reached out and pet her. But uh, she's very insistent on treat time. She wakes me up every morning. I'd be mad, but, I mean, how can you be mad about little cold nose kisses to get you up? You know, it's really great. So, guys, uh, thanks for everything you do, and, and thanks for giving me this opportunity to pay it forward. And I enjoyed this. I hope you all do, too. Y'all take care.